Okay, um, we're gonna go ahead and try to start it here without being plugged in. It's like 24, 25 degrees. Tractor's been sitting here. I went and bought this uh, cultivator and it's been sitting here since like um, November 10th, I think. And so we've got no oil on the ground underneath of it. The only thing leaking is a lot of my if it's one of these tips. I think it's this one here. It's got a little oil there. I'm not sure if it's the coupler or this fitting or something because it doesn't really have much on it without them plugged in. So nothing underneath of it other than that little spot from the from the uh, tips or couplers or whatever that is. All right, so you want to hold the phone? I'll go ahead and start it. side tired side let's do let's do a walk around here real quick for you and look at the other side really not much to show you other than what's already on the pictures on the internet I'm gonna go grab the pickup and we'll just uh, put the jumpers on it for a minute. You see she's blowing some smoke up there, so she's trying to fire. She's just not spinning quite fast enough. The seat cylinder seemed to be leaking a little bit. I forgot about that. Okay, so I got the jumper cables on it. Let's see what she does now. system's normal now that transmission filter light is just because it's cold when she gets warmed up that'll go away uh you heard the radio works the air conditioner works it's been all updated um don't remember charging it this year i, mu I guess i might have i might have charged the air conditioner once this year uh, other than that nothing uh Nothing really wrong with it at all. I've got my uh, service record report in the back here. You can see everything that's been done to it since I've had it. I said it's a little dirty. It's been sitting in the shed here. I bought this cultivator that's on the back at an online auction and I just took the tractor up and picked it up. That's the only reason it's sitting on it. All new interior all the way around, new headliner. Um, the majority of the lights work. I can flip those on here quick and show you. Let's see, uh, field. <clears throat> that one over there is on. This one was working. Yep, there it is. It's got a loose connection down here. That wire right there, I think. So that one's working. light bar on top is kind of giving out. I don't know, whatever. It's got the uh, LEDs in the front and on the cab corner bottom. You can see that one right there. We'll flip it on the road. nose 
lights are still on and flasher on that side. And this one's on, that one's out. <coughs> Seven thousand thirty-three. Oh, it's got hardly any hours on it since we changed it in June. Now, uh, I guess I can show you what the power shift sounds like. Maybe you can hear it. Let me turn the fan off. Maybe you can hear it. in the first watch out she gives that notorious case pulse pulse well, i hope you heard that um yeah not really much else to show you and then flashes back off and i see the lights went off now she's warmed up just enough for the light to go off it's a good running tractor it's uh nothing my dogs are still moaning a little bit Good running tractor. I just, I've got enough tractors in my machine shed here. I've got um, three ant eaters and I've got this big uh, 9150 over here. This thing just sits the majority of the time. <coughs> I've got two skid loaders and other equipment for running the hay around. And I just, I just, I thought I was going to use a loader more than I did and I just don't. So that's the story of it. I'm going to go ahead and let this thing run a little bit longer and charge the batteries back up. As you can see, it is charging. So, the uh, exhaust temp sensor is, I don't know, them, the dealer said them things never really last, you know, worth a shit. So, it never does get up in the hot, as far as I remember. It kind of just runs in, in this range. So, it is what it is, I guess. I've never had it turned up. It's just, it's just, uh factory whatever setting <laughs> there's our uh, battery box this thing had to be uh, it used to be lengthwise sitting side by side right there we had to make a custom battery box to put fit the loader on the same thing with the stack on the other side it used to be factory you know it would come out right there on the on the other side when it was factory we had to move all that stuff around to that side to put the loader on so yeah let me know what you think thank you